Uh, if I might, uh, <laughs> just wanted to commend the chief um, of police and his continued use of social media to help educate our community. And you know, the situation where you're someone found some uh, suspect paraphernalia, and, and I think genuinely our community, the people here, want to they want to know what's going on in the community. And that was a, a great use of educating people the dangers of what you might just find on the street. Was so that on social media? Well, now there were half a million people. I was yeah. surprised too. <laughs> it generated a lot of conversation, some in favor, some not. But I think what it did do is uh, allowed some families to talk with their kids about the dangers of what you might find on there with them giving it. So appreciate it, and I you know, commend you for keeping up. Today. Thank you. Ultimately, at the, at the end of the day, though, it's to educate the public and make them aware of what's out there. Unfortunately, it's now becoming the norm to walk down. Those streets and find paraphernalia just laying and scattered about. And I'm not proud of that, but it's the way it is. We just have to make people aware of it. And my my main uh, target focal point for that was to imagine if that little kid had picked up a needle and got stuck with it, he would have a lifetime of worries ahead at that point. So the more people we can make aware of what to look for and uh, just what to be aware of, the better. So. Uh, just as a side note to that, the, the male individual involved, whose name was on the Narcan, uh, came down to the station with his attorney and gave a full confession and uh, owned up to it. And, uh, appropriate charges were filed. Okay. Uh, just real quick, uh, the newsletter deadline is 